What is the difference between the dictator and the autocratic leader? So the line between positive autocracy, I know he told me to forget about the word positive. I'm not going to forget about the word positive. The line between positive autocracy and dictatorship is very thin. Very thin. And what happens is, as positive autocrats start to get successful, they cross the line ever, ever so often and ah. without realizing it. So that is where you need to continue, continue, key number four comes in, you really need to continuously listen, learn, and reflect while still being lo loyal to your values. No, well. whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, learn, and reflect is what you said. Yes. Key number four. Where in all of that is checks and balances? Because if you're right, and I think you probably are, much as it pains me to admit it, <laughs> if you are right, then the positive autocrat will have stuffed the board of directors with their own um, wannabes and yes men and women. And there will be no check upon mm. that uh, unbridled power. Good point. And this is where governance comes in. Because leadership and governance are two sides of the same coin. When somebody crosses that thin line between positive autocracy, because that is what drives results and that's what the board wants, towards dictatorship, which starts doing harm, that's when the board needs to step in. And this is where, uh, you know, this big issue of whether the CEO should be the chairman of the board or not, that's the big difference between Asia and some of the Western countries, uh, we believe not. This is where the board comes in. And so leadership and governance, the role of governance is to prevent that crossing of the line. How often do you see a board of directors that is nothing more than a milk toast designed for... Uh, to, it, it, not to, it happens to, a lot, but it shouldn't. That's the whole point. It doesn't happen because the, autocracy, the, the dictator has managed to stuff the board. And that is the huge difference between some of the governance models that we see in the West and the ones we see here. Uh, and also, in that, for that matter, in the UK, where uh, we separate the role of the CEO and the chairman, right? The Cadbury Commission. Exactly. Exactly. And th that, that should be, I mean, the role, uh, the board cannot be a bunch of cronies. That, that has been the problem, historically. And as Asian companies, family-owned businesses are going global and are going public, uh, they're going to have to think this through very carefully. We've jumped a couple of steps. Yes. Let's go back okay. to autocratic uh, leadership. Why, why do you want to stick with this highly pejorative word, autocracy, which by its very definition, we all immediately recoil from? So that we can have debates like this. Excellent. <laughs> because it brings home the point that you need to have strong, decisive leadership. When you are trying to create a better future, you are, as I said earlier today, by definition in un into uncharted territory. You're not going to win any popularity contest at that time. You're going to have to have a thicker skin if you believe in it. And that's the idea.